Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you were here. Today we are talking about Melody Cherie uh, responding in a live yesterday uh, to her melometers, to her supporters, uh, because people were asking, you know, uh, how does she feel about people saying that the millimeters do too much and that they need to back down or having melody Sheree tell the millimeters to back down that they're going too hard in the paint and all this and that and melody Sheree said you know what she said when her back was against the wall when everybody and literally their moms were coming for her that's how the millimeters you know started to activate that is how they started to rise, right? And then it just became a life of its own. And Melody Sheree, she's like, listen, I can't help it that I have a big fan base. And and talk and talk it, <laughs> right? Uh, you know, people, so once, she basically was saying, once people saw how Melody was being treated, how Melody was constantly the cop topic of our conversation among everyone, right? Uh, that, you know, a lot of people then started to see what it was, right? A lot of people, um, you know, they were trying to make Melody Cherie look like the villain of the show for so many seasons and look like the instigator, but really it wasn't. Really, it was everyone else that was instigating things to try to get a reaction out of Melody Cherie. And so now that Melody Cherie is at peace at season six, uh, basically her scenes are being cut, right? Like, Happy Mel is basically left on the cutting room floor, you guys. <laughs> um, Happy Mel with her kids, Happy Mel with her mama, Miss Van. Uh, all of that is left on the cutting room floor because this show wants drama. But then they want to fake out the drama in the previews and in the trailers. And then when you get to the episode, it is nothing but fluff, you guys. Uh, but they have minimized Melody Cherie's uh, screen time this season to, like, five minutes an episode, you guys. Uh, because you know no more is melody sheree the drama people are trying to insert her into the drama but she wants no parts of the drama i uh, so so that is what we have going on there uh so what do you guys think about this and, and i think she's spot on why should she tell her own supporters to back down make it make sense you guys how about other people get their own fan bases how about that where are your supporters right why is it that you have to come up with different plots and schemes to try to go after people who support Melody Sheree so that you can have a platform to speak on, so that you can have a platform, you know, to spew whatever, right? Why can't you build your own fan base from the ground up instead of infiltrating existing fan bases, trying to cause beef, trying to instigate drama, trying to trigger people, making false claims, presenting false narratives, all so that it gets people distracted. It gets people distracted from celebrating Money Making Mel. It gets people distracted from celebrating Melody Cherie. It gets distracted from celebrating all of the amazing things Melody Cherie has coming up. Oh, like her uh, appearance at an upcoming Juneteenth event, you guys. And like I said, I think in a previous video, she is going to have both a lip scrub and a, a new body scrub that's going to be coming out momentarily. Um, I'm hoping soon. I'm hoping like within the next month or so uh, with 7 Avenue skincare. And again, you know, people want to talk about all this other random stuff that has nothing to do with Melody Cherie, but is set up to try to still make a dig at her and Melody Sheree said no. She said no, I'm not telling my supporters to do anything, right? Uh, because there was a time, like she said, the millimeters weren't as big as what they are now. Her supporters are not, it were not as big back then as they were now because back then not everybody was seeing everything for it was and the platform and the social media um, that has now kind of taken over uh, in some areas the show and the visibility of the show uh, now it's more prominent than ever uh, the fan base that Melody Sheree has and, and that's the real reason people are triggered and that's the why people are bothered people are stalking people people are trying to you know set up like I said beef and, and conflict and all of the things to try to attack this fan base but um, it's not going to happen 
It is not going to happen. They are going to be stronger than ever. And the focus will always continue to be supporting Melody Sheree. So there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Nervous around her. Um, Mitchell and Molly uh, seem to think that the show is over and that they have been crowned the winners because not only were they matching today with the white bikini and the white um, swim shorts, but uh, also Mitchell took it a step further on night one to walk over to the group of girls that were sitting at the fire pit and put his jacket around her, right? Uh, and, and so all the guys got pissed off and were like, you're trying to show out and all this and that. And now we have to step our game up. Also, shout out to Catherine for getting the lace front game right. Uh, you know, using the headband, not having her lace show, not having the glue show, having her hair together. Uh, that's what we like to see, you guys. <laughs> that's what we like to see on this show. Uh, you know, finding ways to keep your hair together and, and all of the things. I think also Mitchell and Maddie, Molly also had their first kiss at night in bed and were cuddling. Um, Ella and Tyreek were semi cuddling, but you can just tell. I feel like she feels a way, like I said, that he doesn't remember her, right? That he doesn't remember her, but at the same time, she also has the ick of his response to him sleeping with over 100 girls. And like I said, Jess is like crazy for him and he's not giving her those vibes. Um, so this is going to be very interesting because it's like on one hand, like I said, I want him to go, but on another hand, I feel like he's going to provide messy entertainment uh, to come for the show. Uh, so ultimately, I think Rucci and uh, Andre should get along, get cracking, because it seems that they're both single and uh, need to get a move on, or Andre is going to be dumped from the island. Not sure what school George went to because he was telling mommy, Mo not mommy, <laughs> Molly, that um, he liked her because she was homely and that he could levitate to her. And I was like, what? <laughs> levitate? So I don't know what is happening there, but um, he needs to get it together and um, 